you're either part of the solution or you're part of the problem. And uh, I, just, I just feel an obligation to do something. So um, that's what drives me. And I think when you talk to people firsthand that are experiencing poverty or pain, if you have any kind of a compassion, you want to help. Certainly, you know, speaking to mothers that have lost several children to malaria. There was one case when I was in Liberia, the director of a school, he, he was a man, and he said, girls will never go to school in this school. And I said, what do you mean girls will never go to school? And he was kind of cynical and quite chauvinistic. And, but what had happened in that school, because the World Food Program had cut back on food, girls had to leave the school, go home, gather food, look after the household, and they were the ones that were denied an access to education. When you see those things, it's, it's a fairness issue.